Hi there, this is Scott, and we created a nifty little zap that when we create, uh, when we select on this drop down menu, zap, um, what it's going to do is create a project for their tax return in a sauna. And the nice part about this is it's very flexible. You can do a whole bunch of different things inside of Google Sheets, and it will all spit out and go to to a sauna. So in this case, this zap, what it's going to do is create a task named off of this equation, Richardson 1040, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to add it to a sauna underneath the section based off of its due date. So if it's an April 15th return, it gets added here. If it's March 15th, it gets added here. If it's going to be extended um, and has a due date in the command center of September 15th or October 15th, it goes there. And that is based off of this line here. So let's close that up. The zap's been selected. And um, inside of Asana, it, what it's going to do is create the project based off of this template which is all the steps we can take in a tax return. And it will it'll take inside the tax return, and then it's going to spit it out here. So, so we'll watch, um, now that we did the SAP, we'll watch that this will get replicated into a sauna. Um, here's the SAP itself. So we create a new spreadsheet. Um, it only can it looks up um, the entire spreadsheet and, and takes action, but only if that column um, is marked as a zap, then it finds, um, it goes to the project, it finds uh, the section to make the task. After it creates a task, it creates all the subtasks. And finally, it kicks back and it will come here and you'll see that there's a formula that will become an X when the task is completed. Otherwise, it stays blank, so we know that it's not completed. Uh, but the X indicates it's done. So because um, we actually just did the zap, it's run. And what ends up happening next, we'll see. All right, so because the task was done, here it is, Richardson the naming that we saw inside of the Google Sheet. Um, the due date's April 15, 2019. Here's all the steps. And these custom fields will get filled out, um, but because this is a trial run, we didn't do that. Um, what we have here is we track the date that it was last touched. Um, we also put in the Google Drive URL. So it's really easy for the team to go from Asana to Drive to working on the project. And the rest of them are done throughout the project. Nothing else would be done beforehand. And to close the loop out, we have a zap send a message to the client's exact Slack channel saying, hey, a, a task was created in Asana, name this, the due date is this and the link to the exact task is this and and that way the team knows that it's happened where it's happened what's happened um, so there's that there's that um, x saying that that zap's completed that's that's what happens when it's in sauna and the url gets dropped in right here and so this would open up right to our task in Asana. Very, very nifty, nifty zap uh, for running our business here um, during the tax season and getting things set up. Saves a ton of time and it, and it really connects all the dots. Let me know if uh, you want to do anything similar and I'm glad to help out. This is Scott Hoppy at YBlue and you can reach me at scott at yblue.com or if you're part of the team, catch me on Slack. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.